Today I'm going to talk about one of my favourite ever writers, his name is Lee Child. Um, I love thrillers, crime novels um, and I also like sort of fantasy books, you've probably gathered that already. Um, Lee Child is a real favourite of mine, this is one of his latest books, it's called The Midnight Line. And the reason I love it is it features his main character in his books, a fellow called Jack Reacher. And in this book he's described as a righteous avenger for our times. For me he's almost like a superhero though he doesn't have superpowers. And please excuse the chomping in the background because that's Jess. But anyway moving on. Um, this story Jack Reacher is a former military police officer. Um, and an accomplished soldier and he comes from a military family, he grew up in the military and most of these stories um, he's not actually in the military at all but he's got that mindset and that ability, that sort of self-discipline and Lee Child has created such a clever device with Jack Reacher in that when he left the military he made a decision to become a nomad and I mean a real, real nomad. He literally wanders around America um, in the clothes he's standing in with a toothbrush, he has no mobile phone, no way of contacting him, he has no home, he doesn't carry luggage or baggage of any kind whatsoever. Um, and what happens is he literally goes to a cheap shop and changes his clothes every two or three days, washes them out in motels, and when he needs money, he goes to one of those like Western Union places and accesses his army pension. So really cleverly, Lee Child has set in our mind someone where we're comfortable and we understand that he can have mad adventures anywhere at any time and just leave and walk away from them. So it's just a really clever thing that he's done. Some of the books do hark back to his time in the military. This one doesn't. Um, you may have seen some films about Jack Creature. It's my understanding that Tom Cruise or Tom Cruise's company has the rights to the novels and there have been a couple of films. The hilarious thing though is that um, if you can picture Tom Cruise in your mind, and I'm sure many of you can, um, he's nothing like the Jack Reacher in the series because Jack is six foot five, built very stockily, ever so powerful, his massive hands are often described and he's also got scars on his face, he's described as rugged and not handsome. So couldn't be further removed really from Tom Cruise, but um, we'll forgive Tom Cruise that, won't we? So I really recommend this. This particular story starts when um, Jack finds a ring in a pawn shop and it's a very small ring and it's a West Point ring. Now I'm not a fay with the ins and outs of the US military but apparently it's a hard won ring that you can purchase if you're in the, your West Pointer after years of training to try and succeed in whatever the West Pointers do. So he's curious as to why clearly a woman who's won that ring would pawn it because he's a West Pointer and he knows how much she would have gone through to win that award if you like. So he embarks on a journey to find out why a woman he doesn't know um, from a place he doesn't know has actually got rid of her ring and it leads him through all sorts of adventures. Clearly I'm not going to tell you what the adventures are but um, Lee Child, The Midnight Line. I've got his latest one, which I had for Christmas, lined up to read. So in a few weeks' time, you're going to hear about that one as well. So um, thank you, Lee. Another really great book. Really good, easy read, but exciting read. This is a page turner. You look forward to reading this every day. And one great marketing thing that either Lee Child does or his publishers is when you read the book, right at the very end, you get a couple of chapters of his next book. And of course, fans of Lee are going to read those chapters and then you get to the end of it and you think, oh, yeah, yeah, what happens next? So, of course, what do you do? You go out and buy that book, don't you? So, really clever marketing. Really like it. Really admire it.